breaking. Welcome to today's headlines. FR Mbaka raises alarm over another DSS invitation after New Year prophecies. FR Mbaka raises alarm over another DSS invitation after New Year prophecies. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, stay tuned as I read today's news. The spiritual director of Adoration Ministry Enugu, Nigeria, Amen. AGK Mbaka has raised the alarm over another invitation by the Department of State Services, DSS. The DSS had in June last year visited the Adoration Grant to deliver the letter of invitation to the Catholic priest, but missed him. Though details of the invitation were not stated, it might have had to do with the priest criticism of the Bari administration and his call for the president's resignation and impeachment. Umbaka gave the hint of another invitation from the DSS from the DSS in the 2022 New Year message during the crossover night at the Adoration Grand in many Enugu states. It was not clear why a fresh invitation was being extended to the cleric. However, it was learned that the latest invitation might be might be over the priest's stand on the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Ipo, Mazi Unamdekanu and his group of agitators. Yeah, last year called Kanu a hero after his arrest, demanding his release and warning that if the IPOP leader dies in the custody of the DSS, there will be more trouble in Nigeria. Mbaka, who pleaded with his followers to intensify prayers for him over the fresh DSS invitation, also begged fellow priests to stop castigating him for praying for and blessing the IPOP leader over his travels. He said, Anonymous brought a letter here yeah, inviting me to the DSS last year. Now, another Anonymous has brought another letter from the DSS. Please, you must keep praying for Fr Umbaka. He insisted that his adoration ministry was an answer to the prayer of the church over the years. If the Pope sees what is going on here, he will go to any length to protect it. Forget about what people are saying. Umbaka may not be the best, but God is using him to glorify his name. Look at the hundreds of thousands of people who are gathered here just to worship God in the Catholic Church. Anyone who is working against this kind of gathering must be a Satan incarnate. That person must be doing a special work for the devil, Mbaka said. The cleric who used the cross overnight to intensify prayers for the IPOB leader and other agitators under incarceration, stated that he sees Kanu as his son. Mbaka said, I am begging my fellow priests to stop condemning me for praying for Unamdi Kanu. 
I am not closing any priest's mouth. And nobody should close my own. If I use my mouth to bless Ulam Jikano and you don't like it, please use your own mouth to cause him. Leave me to bless him. I see Ulam Jikano as my son. Every Igbo man and woman is my child. You may not have understand the spiritual authority I have on this land. If as a church we can be praying for Nigel in distress, nobody can stop us from praying for Unam Kanu and our brothers in distress. This year will be for Kanu and those held for education. God will show them mercy this year. This spiritual director of Adoration Ministry Enugu, Nigeria, Amen, EGK Mbaka, has raised the alarm over another invitation by the Department of State Services, DSS. The DSS had in June last year visited the Adoration Ground to deliver the letter of invitation to the Catholic priest, but missed him. Though details of the invitation were not stated, it might have had to do with the priest's criticism of the Buari administration and his call for the president's resignation and impeachment. Mbaka gave the hint of another invitation from the DSS in his 2022 New Year message during the, during the crossover night at the Adoration Grant in many Enugu states. It was not clear why a fresh invitation was being extended to the cleric. However, it was learned that the latest invitation might be over the priest's stance on the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Mazi Unabdekanu, and his group of agitators. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you.